Whew. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, meh. Meh. Well, honestly, this is a really, really good film. Like, I can't deny that. I mean, like, it's good. It's very good in a lot of things. But altogether, it's... Meh. I mean, I've never really been a fan of a lot of Zack's work. You know, uh, a lot of things I uh, really, really don't like. But this film is definitely better than the Justice League, the uh, the 2017 one. It's definitely a lot better. But just because it's better than that one doesn't mean it's going to stand the test of time. Well, obviously, in my opinion, I can understand if you really like this film because it didn't prove on the other one in a lot of different categories, like the characters, the villain, the plot, or the, I mean, not much the plot, because, well, realistically, they tried to do, uh, they tried to do a Marvel with these two films. These two films, they tried to do what Marvel is, and they just failed to recognize what DC actually is. They failed to realize that DC is... See, all the, see, there's a big difference between DC and Marvel. Marvel is the guardians of Earth protecting humans from aliens that come out of space. That's uh, that's just what Marvel is, and I can accept that. But the thing with uh, these two films, that's not what DC is. See, a lot of DC's characters, if not all of them, they represent something. They all have philosophies behind them. Like, the Joker represents insanity, the Riddler represents uh, over-obsession, I think that's a, I think that's a sentence, uh, Bane represents uh, a overuse of drugs, if you couldn't realise that, if you didn't realise that, and Penguin represents abandonment issues, and uh, being mistreated by society, and... Batman represents how society looks at all these things and how it treats them if it gets out of hand. You know, they kind of for, they kind of uh, forget about what what happened to them and just see them as what they are now. That's what DC is. And even Lex Luthor, where he represents a, a selfish, rich billionaire who looks down on everyone. That's because that's what DC is. DC and Marvel are very, very different things. And... The, and these two films, they just... Ugh, meh. That's what I can say about these two films. They're meh. Well, The Justice League is awful. An abomination. It's a... Probably... It's, no, no, it's definitely worse than Suicide Squad. And Batman vs. Superman. I mean, it makes Batman vs. Superman look like a party. But... Uh, meh. Alright. See you later.